Hey, what's up? I'm Nephibus. I'm a hip hop artist. You don't know who I am. Check out some new music on my page. So, what I really wanted to um, talk about is like the direction that I'm really planning on heading as far as my music and like it even affect my uh, social media as well. So, uh, for me, like I discussed in uh, another video, I think, I think I posted it yesterday where I was discussing, um, you know, the people around me. So me as an artist, I feel like the songs that I've been uh, making, um, if you listen to Worst of All Time, you could probably see the difference. But I'm going in a direction where I feel like I'm going to be more uh, probably abrasive. I'm going to basically rub people the wrong way. And, and that that's that's what I want to do. I want to because I want I want a certain people around me. And I feel like as far as you know hip hop goes, like I do feel like I'm really appealing to people who like old school hip hop. I do, but I also feel like that's a small portion of what I do because I also feel like. A lot of people who prefer the old school hip hop also aren't really into anime and gaming. And that's not to say that all of them aren't into it because I'm not sure I've met plenty of people like that. But I feel like if I concentrate purely on the music side of things, then I'm going to attract more so those pure hip hop people who who aren't into that. So I need to show the full range of my personality. And that includes all of the, the nuances, the the things that people do not like. Because at the end of the day, as an artist, if I'm going to become successful as an artist, which there is no guarantee, but you just got to keep working at it. And like at the end of the day, that's something that I'm going to work on regardless of if, if I can look into the future right now and I can tell if I have a chance of making it or if I have no chance of making it, regardless of which outcome it is. It's something I will still, you know, work on because it's, it's something that I love doing. But if I'm in that existence of reality, and that's just how we're going to look at life, regardless of even if I was on that timeline where I had no chance, regardless, I'm going to look at it as I'm going to be able to make a living off of this. So now looking at it from that standpoint, I don't want to be in a position where it's like, I got all of these people around me and yeah they love my music but I'm unhappy and I'm miserable because um you know there's 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 different ways that people really like they're into you and I don't really want to use the word love even though that's the description that it typically gets because in a lot of cases it's it's not really truly love that you know people are showing you but I'd rather be an artist with less fans but I have you know people around me that I can talk to I can relate to I can have fun with I can have a, a friendship type of relationship with then to be an artist with millions or even billions of fans and it's like which it's highly unlikely to get to billions I and mean, millions is a lot, but you know, just to make a point. So to have all of those fans and basically it's like people I can't relate to and I'm I'm very unhappy and upset to have them around. And from one standpoint, people may look at it and be like, Well, you know, that's that's a harder path to tread down and this is what you should do from another point. Some people might be like, hey, that's a smart thing to do because you have to have that niche group. You have to, you know, stick with what you specialize in. You know, everybody has something unique about them. And that unique thing is 
is the one thing that you know everybody will want from you it's the one thing that you do best because if you come at it from the standpoint of my music is for everyone then you're going to be basically the jack of all trades master of none and of course you know some people are big headed and they're like oh, i'm so great blah 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 yeah but the problem is that you're saying your music is for everyone so that means you're pulling everyone in that means the majority of the voices that are going to be heard are going to be people who feel like you are not good enough and the people who aren't looking for what what makes you unique and that's going to drown out the voices of the people who, who who love your music which is basically what that's going to do is that's going to affect you negatively but that's also going to affect your fan base negatively because that's going to make you know all of the people look at you like you're whack you're a horrible artist whatever whatever like that whereas when you concentrate on specifically like who you are representing that first off that's who you are so you're going to be amazing as you're going to be great and nobody can be better at being you than you but also yeah you're going to have a whole lot of people that are like man you suck you're horrible or whatever whatever like that but because you're so specifically set on being you those people are going to go away Whereas if you're trying to please everybody and be an artist for everybody, then you're going to have enough of that something that they want to where they might they they might feel like you're wet, but they're still going to want to stay because they had that little thing that you want. It's, it's like a bad relationship, like when you're in a horrible relationship with someone and you can't let them go, it's because it's that little thing. And that little thing is what's what's holding you on to them. Whereas if if there was absolutely nothing whatsoever that you liked about someone and you didn't have that emotional attachment, then once they piss you off, you cut them off like it's nothing. Like you don't even care. Like like for real. Like think about that though. When there's absolutely nothing whatsoever that you like about someone, cutting them off is it's a piece of cake. It's nothing. But somebody can be a completely horrible person and they have that little teeny tiny thing that you like about them and it is so hard to let them go. So as an artist, I really want those people who don't fit my personality to let me go. And that's why that's why I take the time the direction of, you know, really trying to implement like the whole like gaming and anime into what i post on social media rather than having this whole like super professional image because i while i'm not a social person i hate being social i suck at being social i do want people around me that i can socialize with that i can feel comfortable with and i don't feel comfortable with people with the personality types where it's like I don't really like video games. I don't like anime at all. Like that, that makes me feel uncomfortable because I absolutely love those things. My number one thing in life would be music, anime, video games. All three of them tie for number one for me. So for them to be like all the way up here at the top of what I love, like. I can't really just be around people that are like, you know, anti that stuff. Like, I can't. And like, yeah, I can be cool with people who aren't into it, but I can't outright surround myself with people who are like, man, you, you shouldn't doing that type mentality because you know how it's a lot of people who, who feel like you shouldn't be playing video games or or you shouldn't be watching anime even in this day and age it's like bruh like are you not evolving like come on now like let people be them let them do what they do but anyway i'm trying to like you know check out this 24 hour pokemon event so i'm about to end this right here but 
thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. And, you know, if you want to drop comments, I mean, feel free to, you know. Uh, hope you have a great day today.